Today we find out was old gold better than new gold? What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and we are opening both Premium Gold Return of the Bling and Maximum Gold El Dorado. And you guys may have heard, if you've ever been around a local card shop or any Yu-Gi-Oh people in general, when they see that new gold rarity, they're like, ew, back in my day, gold rarity was way better and so much cooler. Well, we're about to find out today. Is old gold actually better than new gold? We're pitting them against each other. One box versus one box, completely even. They might have a different number of packs or whatever, but they're both the same, like, basically product. So we're gonna see which one's better. But before that, we do have a giveaway. Well, not before that, where it's every pull from this video, you guys can win. So if, whether it's old or new gold. So uh, that was that was the new one, whatever, let's keep going. We're gonna start with new gold, because you guys say it sucks. So we're gonna open the new gold, and by you guys, I mean just a bunch of random people say that it's bad. Um, they, they much prefer the old gold, which, okay, look, I'm giving them all this crap. I probably like old gold better too, but let's be honest. Nobody really liked old gold when it came out either. So it, it's just aged really well, you know? So let's see if we can uh, step it up with new gold and beat the old gold. I'll tell you one thing though. They have made those boxes way bigger. If you didn't notice, just compare these two things. This is just one thing. Like it's way taller and way wider. It's ridiculous. I don't know why it's so big. All right, let's start with the first one. I went ahead and cut all these open because it's just a pain to open these things up. And even now I still can't get all the shrink wrap off. All right, let's go with the first four packs of maximum gold El Dorado. So we could get access code talker in here, which would be pretty nutty. Let's see if we can do it. Eva scrap wyvern is a pretty good card. Starlight road. Okay. Cyrus gadget and torrential tribute. So I'm pretty sure did they do multiple gold cards in the, or are they all gold? They might all be gold in the, uh, the older one. So if you like less than you like the new one, if you like more than you like the old one, I guess uh, we got the prank kids prank with the rainbow Neos, a good reprint in there. Fossil Dinah. <laughs> I love that card in uh, Edison fossil dig and Exodia, the forbidden one. And we can also get blue eyes and stuff like that. It feels like every gold series has Exodia, blue eyes, all that different stuff. So that's not really that unique when it comes to, uh, to this specific gold series. We have the uh, weather painter thunder prank gets doodle doo. The urgent schedule pretty good card scrap dragon nightmare unicorn that's also pretty good and a red eyes black dragon probably my favorite card in this set just because of the alternate artwork it looks amazing it's only worth like two dollars like absolute steal if you get that card for two dollars maximum gold eldorado let's go let's see what we can do lost world ultimate conductor tyrant a lot of dino support in here so i really like this set big dino fan cybers gadget the hita Destiny Hero Plasma. Okay, Coats are converted and at number 81. So that was the first of the gold. You know what? Maybe we should alternate mini boxes. I think we should do that. All right, let's get into this. We're going to do one mini box at a time. Inside this, there's three five card packs. That's it. Three five card packs. So, okay, I got I to gotta do a little math here. So I guess we need to open two. All right, we'll figure this out. We're, we're going to still alternate. I think we're going to need to do like two of every El Dorado. So there's a lot less cards in these older ones. Are they actually more quality? Because if they are, like you guys say, it should be fine you know they should be able to beat the new premium gold let's open this thing up i will say i really like this look of the premium gold it's like old i don't know it looks nice i feel like all the golds look really nice but this one looks specifically really cool all right now that we've gotten the shrink wrap off let's keep going we have premium gold and look at this it's one singular pack chilling wait no it's not oh i forgot no every mini box has three they change it up every time it's so confusing so I guess we can alternate then because everyone's going to have three. Yeah, it's going to work out. Okay, premium gold, return of the bling, really beautiful packaging. I'm a big fan. They always have nice packaging, but it's always just so wasteful. <laughs> okay, whoa, is that our secret rare right off the bat? Parallel to what? Dude, old gold was better. No, I'm just kidding, but it does look incredible. Oh, these are both secrets. Oh, a crush card. Nice. This isn't the original gold series crush card, which is insane, but it's still a nice version. Crush card rank. It looks like the secrets are at the beginning and then the downer magician also pretty good. And they have this little like twinkly name. It's kind of sick. Okay. That's nice for the premium gold. It's going to be a longer video than I thought. There's a lot more packs in here. There's 15 total packs, I guess. The Stardust Respark. Nice. The Rose Paladin. Don't know much about these cards. Doom Caliber Knight. That's actually a pretty sick card. Go yo. I kind of don't like this lettering though. It's kind of hard to read it. It's like crystally. It kind of looks like a diamond or something. It's pretty nice. Exodia. What did I tell you? Exodia is in every premium gold, it feels like, but beautiful. So this is going to be a close one, guys. This is going to be, this is going to be interesting to see who wins. If they pull like access code, I think uh, Eldorado's probably got a chance, a good chance to win, but 
I don't really know outside of that. Naturia Beast, that's very good. Debris Dragon for a lot of good Edison stuff. And Ceasefire. When did this come out? It might have come out, you know, somewhere around Edison, actually. I don't think it's actually that old, though. Maybe it's like 2015 or something like that. All right, on to our second mini box of El Dorado. Let me know if you're enjoying this gold battle. I'm enjoying this because we haven't opened a lot of premium gold before. We have, of course, opened El Dorado, though. But Trap Trek, let's get a... Uh, ooh, Rose. Okay, pretty good. Twin Twister. So we got Twin... Wait, Twister and Twin Twister. So on the other one, we got Twister. This one, we got Twin Twister. Very interesting how that works. If we can get that access code, that would be pretty sick. Let's And you guys would be able to win it, so that would be awesome. Elixir, we got the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Alter Geist, Siliquis. We got the Danger Bigfoot. Okay, cool as well. Two to go. So far, nothing huge out of the goal. I do like the Alternate Red Eyes, but it just doesn't hold the value really right now. Prank gets Meow Meow. We have the Eldorado. Nightmare Unicorn. What is going on up there? That is awkward. Okay, the Book of Moon. Okay, and then the number one. So, um, okay, not great so far. The final of the mini box. The last mini box, I think, was better with the red eyes for sure. Uh, and Exodia and stuff like that. What can we get in this one? This one is straight up damage. What's new? It's a new Yu-Gi-Oh product. Micro Coder, the Fossil Dig. Number C1000, very cool. And the Soul Eating Over Raptor, one of the best dinos out there. Prank Kids, Pandemonium. All right, very cool. Next mini box, let's do it. Let's see what we can get mini boxes galore we have 10 total wait oh did i cut what that was weird that was like i didn't cut it okay all right three premium golds let's go we have the junk giant secret rare we've got the black wing what does this say nothung nothung the star of starlight what in the world blue eyes white dragon okay we got the tablet art nice dandelion's a good card as well and then the sylvan charity the thing about these though with these brown borders is like they look used even before you've ever used them like they're mint condition and they look used it's very very strange i have no idea what the score is right now because i don't know the values of any of these gold series cards like especially the older ones like i don't know if they're a dollar two dollars five dollars i don't know what they are so we're just kind of going with it you guys are going to see the totals pretty much you know consistently so you guys will know uh we got santa claus that's a classic I think Santa Claus is in here. I love to see that. You know, absolute king. I wonder if this came out around Christmas. Dark Hole, very cool. Card Trooper as well. And then, ooh, Solemn Warning. That's a pretty version of that. I think that actually fits really well with this rarity. Okay. One more pack. We're not even halfway through. This is going to be kind of a decently long video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys like those little bit longer videos, Ask Your Anki, beautiful, even though people hate that card. Number 95. We got the Naturia Barkeon. We got Exodia again. And then the Book of Moon. Book of Moon is also in every gold series. In just every pack in general, it's always Book of Moon. <laughs> Next mini box of maximum gold. We're crossing the halfway point. Um, once we're done with this, it will be over halfway. We got the prank kids doodle do the lost world. We got the prime math mech Albatarian. Oh, math mechs. I don't know if that's worth anything because of math mechs. Uh, prank kids place. I know math mechs are getting a little bit more popular. They've had some success in recent tournaments, so it could potentially be worth something. I don't really know what is in the math mech deck to be honest. C1. We got the trap trick. Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, King, Calamity. They got the Scrap Chimera and the Magical Dimension. Yeah, even the Scrap stuff, which goes well with Dinos, is in here. So Gold Series, very clutch for that deck. We have Lost World yet again. The Golden Land Forever. The Scrap Dragon. The Fire Formation, Tenki. Rescue Cat, beautiful as well. And then Frame Lord Zeta with the Giant Rex. One more pack. I really wish I knew who was winning. I think Rescue Cat's worth a couple bucks. Number three, we got the Weather Painter. And what a reminder, it's always $1 cards and more. Adolka, another Dino card. Just amazing Dino stuff yet again. All right, two or three more of these uh, Return of the Blings and two more of the El Dorado. Let's keep going. Let's see what we can pull. So far, a pretty solid opening. We haven't pulled anything insane yet, but we're still looking. Let me know in the chat, are you a premium gold fan or are you a maximum gold fan or new slash old gold? You know, I think this, there's also other old gold, which looks even better than this. I think like the original in 2009, those both look really good. Uh, very cool with the Isolde. We get the Crush card again. Very nice. Trap Tricks and the Lavalval Chain. That's also pretty nice. All right, two packs to go here. What will be inside? What is the biggest hit out of here? I don't even know. Rose Paladin, the Parallel Twister again. No, it's Parallel Twister not just twister doom cow that's good meditation the time lord and preparation of rights that's also a pretty good card so a lot of like gold is you know it's, it's known for being a bunch of decent reprints for that are worth a few bucks black wing at the stardust respark the detria beast right leg of the forbidden one we got two pieces now not bad and then trap tricks mermelio i don't really know like premium gold exodia sets you don't see those very often like full sets not just like one piece all right four more packs we're down to the second to last pack of the fourth mini box, so the fourth mini box, is what I'm trying to say. Number four, we got the Cypher Emblem of Omega. We got the Knights of Break Sword, Alter Geist, Evil Zord Lagia, very good. Raigeki, also very good. Win the Wind Charmer or Channeler, no Charmer. There, it's very confusing. There's Chammers, there's Char Chammers. 
<laughs> no, there's no chammers. Maybe they'll be next. Chammers. Okay, all right. We got the weather painter. Just ignore that statement. Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Very good card. Uh, Lambda. Eldorado. Scrap Chimera. Also pretty good. Numeron Network. And the Prank Kids Weather Washer. Okay, two to go. So far, Eldorado, you have not pulled the access code. Just saying. You have not pulled it. Just reminding you, Eva. Let's see if you can do it. Trishla. Okay, and by you, I mean me. Pull it out. Okay, that's just getting weird. Uh, Conquistador of the Golden Land. Very nice. Final pack of the fourth mini box. So we're almost to the final mini box. We've got two more of the Return of the Bling. Nightmare Unicorn, cool. We got the Cyrus Gadget, Prank Kids Meow Meow, Torrential Tribute, uh, Numeron, and Dragoonity Romulus. Okay, so how you feeling, guys? You old school uh, old school gold fans? You guys still feeling like uh, it's, it's better? You know, you, you think so? Is gold better than new? That's what I was gonna say. Is gold better than new, huh? Huh, what do you think? Three packs to go till we know if gold is better than new. Here we go. We have number 14. We have the Ghost Charon. We have enemy controller. Up, down, left, right, A, B. No, it's... No, yeah, is it up, down? Maybe it is. Okay. Temple of the Kings and Debris Dragon. Another good pull for those Edison decks. A lot of these have seen reprints recently because of the Edison format, you know, getting more popular. They've put some of that stuff in as commons and rares and stuff. Well, not rares. I guess we don't have those anymore. Uh, supers. Santa Claus. We got the Five-Headed Dragon. We've got the Trap Tricks Trap Hole and the Rank Up Magic Numeron Force. All right, last pack. Someone is revving their truck up for old school gold. Somebody outside is hyped. Let's go. They said old school gold for the win, baby. Absolute king. We've got the Gores. Oh, that's sick. That's a nice version. Ring of D. That's also amazing. And Mathematician. So honestly, that seemed like a de pretty decent pack going into the very last mini box of both sides. All right, last four for maximum gold. Here's the score currently. We're going to let you know how close is. I'm guessing it's pretty close. It might be an intense battle for the end who will win hot red dragon arch fiend make sure to let me know in the comments prank kids rocket ride curse eldland okay the sky striker ace ray and the zephyr nui with the area the water charmer okay all right it always feels weird just saying area it sounds like you're saying a r e a like an area it's just weird uh i might be saying it wrong phantom knights of ancient cloak the scarlight road the scarlight road and torrential tribute okay we've got a couple of those dragon maid hospitality Two to go. Can we get that access code? That would be a sick way to end it. I'd be down. I'd be down. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to say I want new to win, but access code, baby. Let's go. Evil Zora Log. Yeah, nice. And Twin Twister. So we're getting a lot of Twisters today. And the Zeta. It's going to give that old school last chance to either solidify their win, which they might already be ahead, or come back. The Weather Thundery. Mystic Mine. That's worth a couple of bucks. Hey. Won some YCSs recently. Prank kids bow bow. We get the Eldritch. Ooh, the alternate art. Okay, a couple of good pulls in that final pack. We didn't get the access code, but that was definitely solid. All right, final gold. I can't remember where I cut this open. Final look at the mini box. We got three more mini packs to end it. This has been a fun video, actually. Pretty fun to open up this old school gold stuff. Let me know if I should get my hands on like the really old stuff. It's really expensive, like the gold series one, but maybe we should do it. Uh, we got the Blackwing Tamer. Blackwing Chris the Crack of Dawn. I think this is actually a pretty good card in like Edison Blackwing deck. Uh, enemy controller rank up magic and card trooper another good edison card just a lot of that good stuff there let's see two more packs can they come back can they end it they have the number 14 greeny <laughs> greeny greedy sariemi sarame whatever that says the time lord we got the trap six dna oh and the left arm three pieces of exodia for you guys that's actually not bad for like a few mini boxes so three out of five pieces that'd be pretty cool to have a set of that to be honest especially like near mint to mint condition Final pack. Let's see what we can pull. Root for that old school gold or boo the old school gold in the comments. Let me know. Blackwing Pinaki. The Parallel Twister. Smashing Ground. A really nice print of that. Pot of Duality, aka Pot of Awesome. Beautiful. And Trap Tricks Mermelio. Okay. That was a pretty nice opening. So the cool part is when you get done and it's just a bunch of gold on the side. I really like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto D. And a Squirtle Flexi Boy, Hoppus Dizzy, Stanley Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Untie Show, Thomas McLean, Seth Fisher, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.